Welcome to the Mike Show for, what day is it? Is it the 18th? No, it's not the 18th. Is it the 20th? Uh, Tuesday, March 20th, 2018. 8.04 a.m. It's 18 degrees outside. Uh, I'm sitting here with my loves, my little brothers and sisters. There's Maxie, and there's Mikey, and Samuel. And back to me again. Elsie's getting a bite to eat, and Audie's still up on her Betty Bye. Sun is starting to rise. It's a clear morning out there. Uh, I just can't get myself to sit out on the sun porch anymore since I stopped drinking coffee. I have to get some chaga grind up to start doing that again because it's pretty difficult for me to sit out there and not be drinking something warm. All these adjustments in my life to my schedule since, you know, not doing that anymore. Come on, Alice. Oh, boy. I'm kind of tired. Um, slept fairly well. I had a couple strange dreams. One about my brother John's place at Long Lake, and a friend of mine, John Johnny, was there with me. And I don't know. It was different. It was just different. It was the last thing I remember. Uh, I had a headache again last night. A couple nights in a row, I've gone to bed with a headache, and it's pretty brutal. I had it most of the evening last night. Took some aspirin and drank a lot of water and it seemed to take care of it. But why I keep getting them, I don't know. Had a pretty good day yesterday. Got out uh, and did some biking. Did the uh, 23 to Monahan Point Road, to Anderson Road, to Kirchhoff Road, Samp Road, Bloom Road, uh, Trumbull's Mill, to North Point Shores, to Misery Bay and to save a lot and then back home from there. And ended up being about a 27 mile ride. It was kind of cold and windy riding north. But once I got riding uh, east and south, it wasn't so bad. And later in the ride or a little around halfway through, the sun was up high enough and where the road was frozen and the snow melted it. Uh... Oh boy. It got pretty muddy. <laughs> I was filthy when I got to the store in town and the mud was frozen to me in the bike. So, um, all the while I was riding, I kept thinking of tuna sandwiches and I made, picked, stopped at Save a Lot, picked up some salad fixings and some tuna and some uh, tomato paste and I made homemade tomato soup and Tuna sandwich and had a nice salad when I got home. I went to Love's. Uh, Mikey appeared to be doing better at that point. He went outside. He rolled on the sidewalk in the sun, walking around just fine. He ate real good, but there's something not right with him yet. I don't know what it is. And we're going to see how he is today, if there's any improvement. Today's the last day he's getting a pill for um, a Dr. Jack. Um, what do you call it, prescribed for him, an anti-inflammatory. It's a non-narcotic, and it seemed to do the job yesterday, but yes, last night when I picked him up again, he appeared to be hurting. He was downstairs uh, sleeping on the top of a shelf by himself, stayed, stayed down there most of the evening, and I went and got him and brought him up to the bed with me last night, and he stayed there curled up next to me most of the night, came down early in the morning, and this is where he's been. This is where he has been, right there. No Mikey. Oh, last night we finished reading our book called Lost Soldiers. And went to bed, uh, fell asleep with Hellboy on the movie, on the DVD. So that's where we're at for right now. There's Mackie again. Look at him over there. I think he's got a tapeworm or something. He's in running around scratching his butt on the floor all the time. And so I think he's got a tapeworm or some kind of worm, something bothering him back there. So we're gonna probably go get some medication for that. Right now we're just gonna pause and sit here, enjoy this 
the heater's running right now and I'm sitting right by it and it's nice and warm and I got warm binkies on me and the sun's coming up so that's where we're at for right now oh I better say it before I forget while we were riding yesterday I uh, saw several deer way way out there um, oh where was I way up on Trumbull's Mill Road they were running alongside me on that road and North Point Shore Road and saw a bunch of turkeys too so that's it for right now. Well, look who's decided to join us. She's usually the first one down here in the middle of the night. She comes down about 5 o'clock or so. And Elsie's here with us now, too. My two ladies have joined us. There's that Audie getting a drinky. Tammy's still here with me. I just went and had a little drink myself. Mackie's up over there. And there's Mikey. There's that Mikey. Yeah. Oh boy. Look at her. Hey, listen. You gotta eat. Train whistle out there. Look at her beating up the water. Look at that little lady. Her was mad at me yesterday, last night. I combed some knots out of her fur, and I, I got that little gem for it. I don't remember if she bit me or clawed me. I think that was a bite. But her don't like that, do you? You don't like that. But we can't let her get all knotted up like that because that hurts her too. But I think after it was all done, she enjoyed it. Oh, so we finished a few readings and this is where we're at. Uh, we got a couple more to do. something I recite every morning by Rumi only breath not Christian or Jew or Muslim not Hindu, who, Hindu, Buddhist, Sufi or Zen not any religion or cultural system I am not from the east or the west not out of the ocean for up, or up from the ground not natural or ethereal not composed of elements at all I do not exist I am not an entity in this world or the next did not descend from Adam and Eve or any origin story. My place is placeless, a trace of the traceless, neither body or soul. I belong to be the beloved, have seen the two worlds as one and that one called to and know. First, last, outer, inner, only that. Oh shoot, I forgot. Only that breath-breathing human being. There is a way between voice and presence where information flows. In discipline, silence, it opens. With wandering talk, it closes. Look at Tammy. There goes Buddy again. So, that's where we're at right now. And we are going to pause. It's almost the first day of spring, and I like reading the chapter of Rumi's spring poems. They're always very uplifting. So we're going to pause for now. Well, Audie came and left us. She's back up on her Betty by. Maxie's still over there. Samuel's still right here. Mikey rolled around, and he's not doing very good. And Elsa's still over there. I've had some almond milk, some orange juice, and some yogurt with cinnamon. I'm going to do some yoga in a little while and uh, email the vet and let him know how uh, Mikey's doing. And Before I close out, I do want to say that I ran into some friends yesterday that helped pick me up. And, you know, always good to see Judy and Steve, uh, Dave, and Peggy. So that was the after bonus of my bike ride yesterday. Oh, look at Elsie getting a drink. And I also went and paid my electric bill. I forgot about mentioning that. And I stopped at work to drop off some coffee for Dawn. Saw so Ed and Timmy. And so, look at us. Look at my Elsie. You gonna get drinky, baby? Mikey, I love you. What Grace has given me may it pass to you. And there's Sammy. There's Sammy. So, you know, other than that, I don't have much else right now. I guess we're gonna close this thing out and just sit here for a little while and enjoy the morning with my love. So, peace and blessings to one and all. <laughs>